there are a lot of different ways you can train hard. Some people have a very high output and you think, well, how come they, they don't overtrain? Well, they progressively overload. Their body has adapted. And usually the people that train the hardest, that do these ridiculous workouts, that work out twice a day and all that stuff, they are fanatically obsessed with recovery. People aren't working out hard twice a day, these elite athletes. People aren't at this level or whatever they are in their in their profession, in their passion, whatever it is, if they don't obsessively approach recovery. It depends on what kind of priority and what kind of level you want to get to. Depends on what, what priority you have to get to where you want to go. If you have lofty goals, you're going to have to have lofty effort. Doesn't that make sense? If you want great, amazing fucking results, you have to put in as much effort into your recovery as you do your training. How often do we focus so much on our training program? Do I need more variety? Should I do incline bench? I want to work my upper chest. I want to work my lower butt. I want to work my upper butt, my side butt, my upper side butt, my upper east side butt. We are, everyone's trying to fucking micromanage their physical training, but no one's practicing yoga or meditating or going to the sauna and fucking foam rolling and spending time recovering. Everyone's trying to add a workout. What do you think about two a days? What do I think about one a day training harder, not being a bitch and then doing your recovery properly? You don't need to train twice a day. There are a lot of people out there training twice a day that aren't even training once a day properly. You might need twice a day if your one a day sucks shit. You don't need to train that much. You don't. You need to make your training more efficient and more effective. And guess how you make your training more effective? You ready? You ready for this? You make your training, you multiply, you give yourself exponential benefits from your training if you're focusing on what you're doing when you're not training. When you're at the gym, if you go to the gym five days a week, six days a week for an hour, Still, over 90%, I think that's proper math, over 90% of your week, you are not in the gym. So what do you think is getting you the most progress? What you do in the gym or what you do outside the gym? Doesn't mean you can't, doesn't mean you shouldn't be training like a fucking animal. That makes a huge difference. But I think it's undeniable that the vast majority of your time is spent outside the gym, not in the gym. So by default, the recovery is more important outside because guess what you're not doing in the gym? When you go in the gym, you're training one fucking thing, one fucking thing you're doing when you're in the gym, you're training. What do you do when you're outside the gym? You're drinking water, you're eating, you're meal prepping, you're dealing with your work, with your kids, with, um, I don't know, with your friends, with coworkers, your outside social life, all the nutrition, the sleep, the foam rolling, the yoga, all that shit, everything that we talk about here on the show. One of the reasons why I don't always talk about training, I don't always talk about the gym, I don't always talk about the physical aspect of training because 90, 95% of everything that gets you results doesn't even take place in the fucking gym. That's a small portion of it. It's everything, but it's also next to nothing. You have to think about it in both ways. Obviously, you're not gonna get massive if you're not creating that stimulus. So it goes both ways. When you're in the gym, it's 100% of everything that's most important. You're not going to get any of that other 90, 95% unless you get that 5%. Think about that. You're not going to get any of the benefits of that 90% if you don't get that 5% in terms of your training. So it's, you think about it, everything outside needs to really be fucking locked down. You don't think it's important if you're hydrating properly. You don't think it's important if you're eating well. You don't think it's important if you're prepared with your food. You don't think it's important if you fucking sleep. One night's sleep is more than the hours that you spend training all fucking week. The proportion of time that we spend in the gym to outside the gym is astronomical. It's so different. It's very important, but that's why when you get into the gym, you focus, you get your shit done, you get the fuck out. But when you're out, it takes as much consistency and that's why it takes so much more because you have 90, 95% ability to fuck up. You have so many more things to juggle and to manage outside the gym. You have so many more things to manage. There's so many more possibilities for things to go wrong, for you to miss puzzle pieces. Maybe you're not sleeping well. Maybe you're not eating well. Well, 
That's part of that huge 95%. I wonder why you don't get great results. I wonder why you get super sore. I wonder why you don't recover. I wonder why you don't feel good. I wonder why you don't get really big because you're not doing the 90, 95% of the time, the shit that's fucking outside the gym. That's why the meditation is so important. Helps keep your fucking head focused on what you need to do and what's most important and getting your shit done. That's why nutrition is important. That's why sleep is important. All that stuff is important. All of it. Thanks for watching, fam. Make sure to subscribe to the Daily Soul podcast on YouTube so you can catch the live streams every single day.